Hey, what's happening out there, buddy? My name is Hayden Adams with A Designer Who Codes. In our last tutorial, we talked about how incorporating the Gatsby image can be so, so powerful. We looked at both bringing in two images. I called it the Cook Islands Gatsby image and the palm tree. If you wanna go back and refresh yourself, I'll add a link to the video in this video. And what I'm looking at here are just two basic pictures. And if we see the result, we have picture one and picture two. In this tutorial, what I wanna talk about is having to add the ability to round your images. I'm seeing that more and more in Twitter, and I'm kind of seeing more of the rounded rectangle show up more and more within different designs. Hence, the rounded rectangle in the shapes of the tabs within Chrome. So in this tutorial, I wanna show you how you can incorporate React Bootstrap and bring in their rounded rectangles into Gatsby image. And with that, let's get started. All right, welcome back. Once again, my name is Hayden Adams with A Designer Who Codes. In order to achieve the round rectangles, we have to add the React Bootstrap because it provides the ability to add a rounded, and you can also round circle and thumbnail. For this example, I wanna focus on the rounded to create rounded corners in my Gatsby images. I'm gonna stop my little server here on the left-hand side, and I first have to install React Bootstrap. In order to do that, if I click on Getting Started, what I'm gonna end up with is in the installation, npm install. I am a yarn guy, so I'm gonna then copy the React Bootstrap and Bootstrap, and type yarn add and React Bootstrap. So while this installs, a little refresher course on Gatsby image. React Bootstrap uses the full word image in order to use their pictures, but in Gatsby, what we have to use, if we go back and take a look, is the capital IMG tag. And that tag corresponds to Gatsby image, not React Bootstrap's image. So what we wanna do is we wanna bring in the elements of React Bootstrap, though we wanna bring it in through Gatsby image. And then the great part about this is that we get to use two powerful tools. We are installing React Bootstrap. However, what we also get is Get Bootstrap. So if we do a quick search for Get Bootstrap Images, while this is loading, we might as well have it load. The always powerful part about React Bootstrap is when all else fails, you can always use, as they call it, the vanilla version, the light purple or the getbootstrap.com. They're the same thing. They're just one's written in React and one's written in traditional vanilla code. So the great part about it is you can use all of these classes, we just have to use the word class name. So we can utilize that code in React by just applying from class name to class and all of the de facto coding when it comes to Bootstrap is already there. All right, we're rock and rolling. So if we come back to our introduction, after installing it, we have to add the CSS property. Now I am using the Gatsby default starter, so I'm gonna add the CSS into my layout. Let's go find that folder. I am in components and layout and Visual Studio Code. I'm gonna drop it in after the default layout and bring the minified bootstrap in and save it. And that's all we have to do in order to really install Bootstrap in our design. So I'm gonna type Gatsby develop and run my server again. So if we look at the React Bootstrap of the images, so if we go back, I think we're on the last page. There we go. <clears throat> all we have to do is we have to type rounded to make the round rectangles. Now here's the thing, the word rounded only works with the capital I-M-A-G-E, but we're running the image tag I-M-G from Gatsby. Oh, I think I closed the screen. Oops, right up here, from this piece. So when all else fails, if we can't use the word rounded, we have to go back to the vanilla version of Get Bootstrap. And the great part about using the React, or sorry, the Get Bootstrap version is we already have responsive images courtesy of Gatsby images. What I wanna do is I wanna round the corners. 
And so in the vanilla version, we have to go into the border radius utility in order to add rounded rectangles. So if we come down here, we can scroll a little bit lower, keep it going. I'm looking for border radius. You can find it at getbootstrap.com slash docs 4.0 utilities and borders or by doing a Google search. If I just add the top piece by saying class rounded, that will round my rectangle. So what I can do is instead of saying class, I'm gonna say class name. So if I come up, close my layout, and in index, in any one of my images folders, or my images files, I'm gonna say class name rounded. Because the great part about Bootstrap is it comes with the vanilla version as well as the React Bootstrap or the React version. So if I save this and now take a look, make sure it does refresh, now I have rounded rectangles on the top one. Not the bottom one, but that's easily achievable by copying the class name and dropping it in. And of course, per the vanilla version, you can round any version or you can make it a circle if you want as well. So you can go top, right, bottom, left, circle, or rounded zero, which of course would not mean you would have anything. I There's probably a need for this one, but I'm not really quite sure. So if we wanted rounded circle, let's just change rounded to rounded circle. And with magic, there is our rounded circle. Note that the picture is not a circular image. It is rectangular because we didn't use fixed for a size. We used fluid so it fit the appropriate ratio we're working with. But overall, this is how you can use rounded from the React Bootstrap installation, applying the vanilla version to your design. And if I go back and just say rounded and rounded, this is how you can achieve rounded rectangles on your design via React Bootstrap and the vanilla version, Get Bootstrap. Mm -hmm.